You know, the president may want to ease up the attacks on Speaker Pelosi because she is the one who will bring this to the floor for a vote next week, and it will be early next week. The House officially introducing a resolution yesterday to hold Attorney General William Barr and former White House Counsel Don McGahn in contempt for failing to comply with congressional subpoenas. And there are multiple House committees that have investigations underway seeking documents, starting with Judiciary Committee Chairman Jerry Nadler subpoenaing the full and redacted Mueller report back in April, and the Oversight and Reform Committee Chairman Elijah Cummings failed to receive documents this week from the DOJ and, of course, threatening a vote on contempt. Assistant Attorney General Stephen Boyd at the Department of Justice responding, writing a letter yesterday to Chairman Cummings saying this, quote, given the ongoing accommodation efforts by Democrats, we believe that a vote on contempt would be entirely premature. We hope the committee will not take such an abrupt measure to terminate the accommodation process, but will instead work in good faith to respect the legitimate prerogatives of each of our co-equal branches. The DOJ maintains they have been forthcoming in producing documents as required and allowed under law, but that isn't sitting well with at least one Democrat on the Judiciary Committee, Cedric Richmond. Listen. The DOJ is a reckless band of outlaws. There's no sense of negotiating with them. I think it's still a step forward. And so as long as we're taking steps forward, uh, we're making progress. In those negotiations, Sandra, the DOJ claims that these requests are too broad. But all negotiating aside, this is headed to the full uh, House for a vote. The resolution will take place probably early Tuesday after on Monday the House Rules Committee will uh, get things ready to go. We'll see Sandra? how it all plays out. Griff Jenkins.